I'm just noticing how. Do you remember when everyone was saying about realizing how free we already are right now, just by having the freedom to move our awareness to where we want? Yeah, and isn't that amazing? You said, like, yeah. why do we need something? Well, why do we need more than that? Uh huh. Yeah, that was brilliant. <laughs> and I'm noticing that I'm that really got into my bones, and I'm like. Every time it's becoming very natural to me to just uh, notice that. Every time I'm feeling contracted, I'm like, can I choose where I place my focus now? And I, yeah, I can. So I am free, you know? Yeah. So it's funny. It's actually very freeing how we are always free and we don't have to do anything specific to, we don't have to feel a certain way to be free. We are always free. And that's very, that's something that's really exciting me right now. Yeah, I can feel that like in my heart and my chest, it's like, feels really open. And it's just an amazing thing to be able to like, mm, to hold that, to know it's like, and, and like, I can just actually be here with that, with that knowledge and that knowing like, wow, like I am free, like right now, like it makes me want, like I automatically smile, like the, the automatically like just comes up, like I'm free. And there doesn't have to be any other reason. There doesn't have to be any reason for anything either. Like no reason for anything. No. It's funny, right? Yeah. Like no reason. <laughs> the other night. Okay. So I'm coming home. Story to... time. Story time. Okay. So I'm coming home from my trip and I get, I hit the airport. Total delay. It was like people way too close for you know, a situation where COVID is happening. I mean, like so overcrowded in San Diego airport and they're like doing construction. So huge delay. And then I get to, I get to Las Vegas, which is, and so my fight was delayed so much that I missed my other flight. So I was in that airport probably six or seven hours overnight to wait for my next flight. And it's, it's a little bit uncomfortable, right? I'm wanting to be asleep. And so I sat there listening to um, a recording about actually different, uh, different aspects that help us to open up our, um, our psychic consciousness, our, our, like our ability to really like work in that realm. And so I laid there and I started falling asleep and I woke up and I was like, there was this grin on my face. Like, it was just like, I'm like, I, like, and I'm like, part of me was like, hmm, let me experiment. Like, what is this about? Why am I so happy? Like, I felt so contented, like so fulfilled, so happy, like, so just like, baseline, everything, everything was good. Like it was almost like there was this little tiny gift, like this golden little gift that was like resting in here. And I'm like, like, where did this come from? Why is this happened? You know, should I re-listen to the thing and like, see what that little key was that made this, you know, made this happen. And I was like, no, <laughs> I, part of me was like, no, I, there is I don't know that there has to be reason just be with this because it's awesome. <laughs> like it was so great. I, I mean, I'm going through the airport, like, it's like, okay, I've been on train planes and waiting for more than 12 hours. And like, I get out of there and I get a text from my friend and he's like, you don't seem too upset. And I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Like everything was perfect. <laughs> and I'm like, isn't that amazing? Like there doesn't have to be a reason. 
uh, for anything. <laughs> like, yes, it was uh, so funny. I just, yeah, I'm like, yeah, isn't that interesting? No, nope. that's an amazing insight. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just a part of me that kind of is giggling about that, you know, internally. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. Like there doesn't have to be a reason for, for any of it. Like for me to show up and like, just be like here and like for there to like be some kind of pure steady joy here. Like there doesn't have to be any reason for any of it. There doesn't have to be any reason for anything I do either. Other, there, because as soon as I start to try to come up with a reason it just goes off track. Like it becomes something out here that's externally, whatever that's externally controlled or whatever. Um, like there doesn't have to be a reason for it. No reason. For, yeah. I'm, that's very interesting that you said that because that's my life theme lately. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because it's like, like uh i remember aaron said something like we only suffer when we believe we are in, in control right because yeah because we believe that we are in, in control and then and i remember me having this awakening in 2011 it wasn't me at all you know like it was just like life just wake wake up like like woke up uh and I was just noticing it. Wow. Like these experience that I have right now of bliss and everything, I had this spontaneous awakening in 2011. You know, I was suffering so much. I was having this really hard time in life. And then I was, I, I grabbed the book, uh, The Power of Now. And then I, when I read the first page of it, my mind just opened and my ego just dissolved <laughs> and, and I was like whoa what is this <laughs> and then I became aware of the moment for the first time in my life and I was like just and then my ego came back and then I was trying to to find that state again for the past 10 years and and then I noticed how I was using spirituality to avoid my traumas and everything. And then it was a process of really discovering how to find peace with the process. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm.